He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adjurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fruper Feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. I'll get you the Fruper Feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fruper Feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. A well-prepared witch will Precision is key when brewing potions. Here's the fruper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adjurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. And now we add the mallow sweet and... That's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! Get it! Oh! Dragon Dog! What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. I brewed an Edgerous potion, as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learnt a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an Auror. I wish he talked about it more.